You ever look up the night sky and think, who named all this stuff? I mean, why is a planet called a planet? Who decided comet sounded right? Well, turns out it's all ancient people making stuff up, and we just went along with it. Take planet comes from a Greek word, planetes, meaning wanderer, because ancient astronomers noticed some bright dots weren't behaving, just drifting about, a bit like your mate who never commits to plans. Then there's star, comes from an old Proto-Indo-European word meaning to scatter. Makes sense. Universe looks like someone spilled a bag of diamonds over a black carpet. And the moon? Old English Mona, from the same root as month, because people used it to track time. Now we've got calendars, and nobody's got a clue what phase it's in. Sun? Old Germanic sunnen from Sowell, meaning to shine. Yeah, big fiery ball shines, real creative. Then you've got comet, Greek word, kolmetes, meaning long-haired, because they saw a big fiery rock flying past and thought, hair. Asteroid, Greek. It comes from astero, meaning star, and edes, meaning resembling or like. So it literally means star-like. Astronomers getting lazy now. Galaxy is from Galaxias Kyklos, Greek for Milky Circle, inspired by a myth where Hera spilled milk across the sky. Bit of a stretch, but hey, sounds better than cow juice highway. And nebula? Latin for cloud. Before telescopes, that's all they saw. Space clouds, which is fair. But my favorite? Black hole. Not Greek, not Latin. Just science going, yeah, it's a hole, and it's black. That's it. Straight to the point. Anyway, next time you look up, just remember, every name up there was decided by people who had no clue what they were looking at. Well, that's all I've got to say about that. Bye for now.